Okay, hello Bio2. Uh, we're starting section two in chapter 25, and this is going to be plant responses. So we've talked about how hormones, how they can affect the plant. And now we're going to talk about the actual responses that the plant have that the, form of, <clears throat> the hormones are going to be a result of. And so the word that we've been hearing a little bit that now we're going to actually define here are tropisms. So we're going to look at what are plant tropisms. So plants will change their patterns and directions of growth in response to a multiple of to a multitude of cues. So a cue is just kind of like a signal. So they can respond to a multiple of cues or signals. And the responses of plants to external stimuli are called tropisms. So if you remember stimuli, plural form of stimulus there, is just things that affect the plant. Just anything that can happen to the plant, like whether it gets too hot, whether it gets too cold, whether it gets too wet, whether it gets too dry. So a tropism is just going to be how plants respond to external stimuli. And there are several types. There's gravitropism, there's phototropism, there's thigmotropism, that's just a couple of them. And each of these responses demonstrates the ability of plants to respond effectively to external stimuli, such as gravity, <clears throat> light, and touch. Thigmotropism being touch. So we're just going to get a quick little introduction about uh, each one of these. So gravitropism is the response of a plane to gravity, is controlled by auxins, which we all know, and it causes the shoot of a germinating seed to grow out of the soil against the force of gravity. So usually you would think just kind of a weak little plant, the force of gravity would be able to just push it right down. However, um, <clears throat> however gravitropism, with the help of auxin, forces it against the force of gravity to go up. And it'll also cause the root of a plant to grow with the force of gravity and into the soil. So that's how gravitropism, how gravity plays a role with plants. And then phototropism, which remember was discovered by uh, Charles Darwin, that was the response of a plant to light, and it is also controlled by auxins. And this response can be so quick that young seedlings will reorient themselves in a matter of hours. And reorient just means to change their position. So young seedlings can, if you give them light originally, and then let's say we move the light, they can reposition themselves to get to the light in just a matter of hours. That's how strong this reaction can be. Our next one, a new one that we haven't really heard of yet, would be thigmotropism. And this is the response of a plant to touch. An example of thigmotropism is the growth of vines and climbing plants. And so kind of how this works is that the stems of these plants do not grow straight up. Instead, the growing tip of each stem will point sideways and it twists in circles as the shoot grows. If you look over in that picture on the right, you can see the twisting stem that's going around. And when the, when the tip will encounter an object, it quickly wraps around it, which will allow it to keep moving its way up and up and up on whatever it's climbing. So again, it's, we might think of them as growing straight up, however they kind of grow sideways, so once the tip touches something that it can grab onto, it wraps around and then it will continue to kind of move its way up from there. And some climbing plants also have long twisting leaf tips or petioles that will wrap tightly around the same, around small objects, kind of serving the same plant, or same purpose, sorry. Other plants, such as grapes, have extra growths called tendrils that emerge near the base of the leaf and wrap tightly around any object they encounter. So tendrils is an important word. It's almost kind of like the f a fingers of a plant, if you will. That's how strongly they can kind of wrap around and grab onto things. So tendrils would be an important word to know. So that's kind of it for thigmotropism. So now we're going to talk about kind of how plants can respond to things. So rapid responses would be what these called. So not all plant responses involve growth. So we've mentioned gravitropism is growing against gravity, phototropism is growing with light, and thigmotropism is growing in response to touch. So one example of a rapid response that's not involved with growth is a plant called Mimosa paduca. I believe is how you say that. So, And uh, we're going to take a look maybe at a video of this in class. And if you touch the leaves of this plant, within seconds the leaves snap shut. So if you're interested now, maybe type this into YouTube. And you can see it it's, might also be called the touch me not plant. And it's pretty interesting that you literally touch it and it closes. And the reason why this happens is changes in osmotic pressure, which we, we've talked about this before. So our leaves are held apart due to osmotic pressure where our two leaflets join. So osmosis is keeping those leaflets open. And when the leaf is touched, cells near the center of the leaflet will pump out ions 
and they will lose water due to osmosis. So it'll cause the water to move out of the leaves and pressure from the cells on the underside of the leaves, which do not lose water, forces the leaflets to close together. So in the normal, when it's not getting touched, pressure from both sides is pushing, pressure is pushing up from the bottom, pressure is pushing down from the top, it keeps it open, but then when it touches, we lose that pressure from the top and the bottom will force it shut. So that's it for this part of this section. Let me know if you have any questions.